Some of you may have seen videos, read blog essays, and participated in webinars where my colleagues and I have covered the basics. First, what is ArcGIS Online? Why would I want to use it in education? Second, how can I use maps that already exist in ArcGIS Online? How can I create my own maps, save them, and share them? This webinar is intended to take a deeper dive past the basics to help you think about even more powerful things you can do with it and how it can enhance what you are teaching, whether it is geography, history, environmental science, earth science, language arts, mathematics, or other content area. On the career in technology education and computer science side of things, this deeper dive opens up doors in scripting in Java and web APIs, web development, and much more. What is ArcGIS Online? ArcGIS Online is not just a website for creating a bunch of maps. It is a complete cloud-based collaborative content management system that lets you manage your geographic information in a secure and configurable environment. The platform provides an on-demand infrastructure for creating web maps, web enabling your data, sharing your maps, data and applications, and managing content. It includes base maps, data for your maps, applications, configurable templates, and GIS tools and APIs for developers. And yes, some of your students can and will be developers. Why use ArcGIS Online in education? Like many of you, my colleagues here on the ESRI education team have devoted our careers to promoting, supporting, and advancing spatial thinking and GIS throughout all levels, subject matters, and settings in education. There are many reasons why we believe that ArcGIS Online provides an excellent means to foster spatial thinking and critical thinking skills. ArcGIS Online is easy to use. It is powerful and it is fun. It provides an almost instant gratification way for you to map everything from global tsunamis over the last century to demographic characteristics in your own community. Remember Captain Kirk explaining the size of the crew of the Enterprise to the Chicago mobsters? There are over 400 guys there! In ArcGIS Online, you'll find over 100,000 maps, data, and applications published by the GIS community, including ESRI, USGS, Census, World Bank, and local government and agencies around the world. Using the built-in viewer in the ArcGIS Online website, you can create an interactive map that includes a base map, data layers, an extent, pop-up windows, a legend, a place finder, and so on. Add your own data in many formats such as spreadsheets, shapefiles, and KML, and have them web-enabled for you. No servers or software are required to share or view these maps. Anybody with a web browser, mobile device, or desktop client can open and interact with your map. ArcGIS Online allows you to follow through on key teachable moments. When the students are engaged, when you and they are asking, what if, what if we looked at some different variables? What if we changed the scale? What if we changed the classification method? It becomes a part of the dialogue that encourages students to think critically, spatially, and holistically about real problems in real contexts. ArcGIS Online is a part of the ArcGIS system. That's not just a bunch of ESRI speak. The implications are really quite important. In brief, because the ArcGIS and the desktop components are linked, you have access to all of the power of desktop and online. You have, in short, the best of both worlds. You can use ArcGIS for desktop, which is, for those of you that might not know, software that runs on your local computer, currently in version 10.1 as an authoring tool for your ArcGIS online content. And you can also download data from the online cloud and use it locally.